Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is React Tutorial for Absolute Beginners. Today we will do the basic installations that are required. We will do our system checkup and so on. We have a lot of work to do. In this particular series, we will build a credit card portal called Arc Credit Card Bank where we will list credit cards, we will build the admin panel, we'll do much, much more. The first step is to get the installations and our system ready. That's what we will do in today's episode. Let's get started. This is part two of the series. In the first episode, I have covered just a basic introduction. You haven't missed much, but a good recap would definitely help you. All right, so what are we going to do today? Today, we are going to do some of the prerequisites for our system checkup. We will also start creating our project repo. All right, so that being said, let's get started with hands-on. If you have any questions, any queries, any doubts, write to me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you. <coughs> All right, so what we are going to do, I'm going to first open up an untitled page and I'm going to list on some of the system requirements that you will need in order to learn and master. The first and the foremost step is to make sure that you have Node.js on your machine. Okay, so you can install it for free. Okay, this will be uh, this is a free installation that you can go to nodejs.org and you can download based on the system requirement if you are on let's say I'm on Mac so it is showing me options for Mac but you can also download for Windows installer okay so based on your system requirement you can install <coughs> if you already have it installed the command you would run is node hyphen V to check the requirement so open up a terminal and how do you open up a terminal is you can open by right click and open an integrated terminal so it will show you the terminal <coughs> so type node hyphen v it will show you the version you are on okay mine is 20 but you can be anywhere between 12 to 20 okay you may run into some problems if you are on a lower version like say 8 or 10 because some of the modules some of the plugins will not work as expected that being said you can always upgrade node but having said you are safe if you have node installed we can work and we can work with you to see if you run into any specific problems that was for node.js the next thing you will check is the npm version okay npm stands for node package manager manager this is what we will use to install some of the packages etc so you can type npm hyphen v okay so npm hyphen v and it will show you the version you are on okay make sure that you see an npm version that means node is installed npm is installed okay let me know if you are having any system issues I can work with you I can work with you and get that setup done for you. All right, the next thing you'll need is a beautiful, powerful editor. Okay, now I will, there are multiple editors in market that you can use. Uh, we will be using Visual Studio Code. This is that editor. Again, it's free uh, for you to download and use. Please download that. The other available options for you are Sublime Text, IntelliJ, J, etc. Okay, there are other editors, but I will recommend Visual Studio Code. That's the recommended. Uh, the last thing that you will need is a browser. Now, I will recommend start using Chrome. Uh, we'll be using Dev Tools, React Dev Tools, etc. So, again, this is my recommendation, but any other uh, browser like, say, Edge, Firefox, um, etc mozilla whatever uh, you want to use uh, are fine okay so those are the four basic requisites for you to start learning this particular series okay today what we are going to do is install the main repo that we will work with the repo is called create react app that's your starting point starting point of learning okay what is this repo what all it consists what is the folder structure I'm going to cover in the coming episodes so don't worry about it today all you need to run the command today is npx create react app 
followed by the app name the project name that you want to give and the name that I am giving is like I said we will be building a credit card bank right so I'll be giving accordingly but you can give any name so you will type npx create oh sorry before that there is one more step which is to create a run folder okay so I'm going to create a folder and call it learning react I'll close this terminal and in this folder I'm opening up the terminal and I'm typing npx create react app followed by arc credit bank okay that's the name of the project that I'll be building as part of this particular series <coughs> so I would recommend uh, you also start building the same so build arc credit bank that's the name so run this command npx create react app it will take a while to install stuff don't worry what it is doing like I said I will cover everything what this repo is what scripts are there what all it will do everything so just hang in there in the meanwhile keep supporting me hit that like button subscribe button and make sure you are supporting me on this series all right so it has installed you should see this message here I'll make it big so you should see that success created this project and it will list and say happy hacking okay if you see this message that means the project is created for you if you scroll down in the project structure you will see source public app those things okay to leave you on a happy note today what I want you to do is just type the command npm start and it says error because we are not in that particular project folder so type ls and then go to the project type ls perfect so go inside the project folder that's what I am in right now if you see the project I am in arc credit bank and then type npm start it will do some basic work and start the application you should go to localhost 3000 and hit enter and you should see this animated logo of react that means you have successfully installed react and all the things are ready for you to start developing the project so these are the steps we have done you should see this message webpack compiled successfully and you should see the output like this by typing localhost colon 3000 that's the default you can see here as well right so if you see this this episode is complete and you are good to learn what exactly this project is what does this report does what are the files everything so we'll be covering that in the next episode where I will deep dive into react create react app project I hope you're following I hope you're excited let's build it out let's build one of the most beautiful most elegant project on YouTube and I can only do this with your support so keep liking this videos keep supporting me thank you so much see you in the next episode.